Okay. You think you can carry one? Yeah. No. Let's see, I've got to figure out. Can you help me move this in place, please? We've got to figure out where this stands. So we're going to line it up right here. Just line it up. I want to see where the legs go. Uh, the chickens had dug a big hole there. Well, I guess right here it won't hurt anything. We just want it out of our way. That'll work, I guess, right here. Um, <clears throat> well, the idea is we're going to put up blocks and have it on blocks. And uh, then it'll be off the ground so it won't rot. Okay. So let's line this, pull it forward to here. Oh, straight to you. Okay, so I know where the legs will go, okay. I want to line that, uh, line up the bricks for the feet of this. So I'm making a temporary shelter for the Bantams while I demolish everything. Or I said, should say we, we, it's not just me anymore, is it? Melanie hasn't had her coffee, so she's quiet. She's just like me. Gotta have your coffee, don't you? Huh? Was there a shovel around somewhere? That's too high. Boy, that's rich soil right there. For gardening, look at this. Look at this soil. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, that's the ultimate potting soil right there. That looks just like potting soil. So we're gonna take apart the garden area so the Bantams need a place to live till we get them a, a proper home. Oops, that was ours. I was afraid of. Those were heated before in the fire. Um, Alright, let's put this on top. Up, over, and down. See, now that will be protected from the elements. So uh, when the rainwater won't rot it. Now we've got here a door that needs some oil. See, that's how we get our birds. We bring the camera around. I've got to put a a shelter in for them. Well, this thing only paid a few dollars for it, so I got a good deal. But it's wasn't made for long term. So I'm going to enclose this area here and then they can run around in through here. They can have fresh air and they can have a closed area and it's just a couple bantams right now. Something isn't right about this. I'm going to have to readjust that. It's warped. This certainly wasn't made for long term outdoor use. Definitely wasn't made as rugged. Now we've got to put on, let's see if the store fits on here. You want to help me with that? That is the roof. Got it. And we're this side up. All right, right up on top of there. Come to me. Okay, wait. Overhang, overhang. We'll center it. All right, let's come over to me some. Wait. A little bit more towards me. Just a little bit more. Okay. That's all right. What do you think? Do we have a chicken coop? Yeah. Now I got to put some uh, 
I'm going to make shelter in here, so I'm going to drop some boards in. I'll cut some boards to drop in here, and then I'll just put a couple holes and twist time on. And we'll have ourselves a chicken coop for the bantams. This is a saw somebody sent me in the mail recently. cuts better there is a huge difference there that really cuts the other saw couldn't have done it cut like that that saw really cuts I got a couple staples here I got to pull out Here's one piece for the new chicken coop. Never so is a chicken coop here. What do you think, Melanie? Looks like we got a chicken coop. Yeah, it's nice. I think. Think the chickens will like it? Mm -hmm. Let me see. If I cut this right. It's gonna sit in there. Gotta make sure I cut it right. Uh, guess we'll find out in a minute. I've got to put it in from the inside. Why? Uh, that's the best way it's going to fit us from the inside. What's cool is later, this can actually be a ramp for the birds because of the wires. And they can go up into bed. Mm -hmm. Once they build a, a, a fortress around it, they can walk right up that. And at night, we close it. Safety. And the birds know where they're going. Yeah. Yeah, there's... They figured out, they prefer to go into bed at night and be safe. I'm gonna take out that staple. Let me fit it, see if it fits, and then I'll take out that staple. I hope I can get that behind those screws. I'm gonna have to take that one screw out. All right, let's take this off the top real quick. We're gonna just put it right here, okay? Yep. Thank you. No point in the card, right? I'm gonna slip that right down in here. time because it was cheaply made and never painted. Oh look, let me think. We've got ourselves a perfect fit. Huh? Look at that. Okay. Now 
How many table arrangements? What? How many table arrangements? How many what? Table arrangements. We said four. Now we'll put some wires on there, and it's a pretty good secure chicken coop. Alright, we got ourselves a chicken coop coming along here. I put in a floorboard. The piece wasn't wide enough, so I put in a strip of wood. And all it is is to stop the uh, litter, the bedding, from falling through. And I put in a perch. I rounded off a piece of 2x4 and secured that nicely in there. And now I'm going to put a... Um, wall here with a doorway for them to come and go inside and uh, we can put the birds in there they'll be safe and happy now I'm building the inner wall for the birds Keep the weather off them and give them some privacy. side need a little strip. I'm going to cut that and fit that on there and we'll have the inner wall of the chicken coop. Let's see how it goes. I'm hanging on the wires, but I'll get it in place. 
think. The wires are bent inwards. Get that in there. One way or another. It's gonna be tight. Looks like we got a winner. Got it. Got ourselves a chicken shack. There you go. I'll put two screws into each side and we got ourselves a chicken shack. I'll show you around here. So there's a door and the entry gate. They can go up and down. Of course they'll have that propped up and have that extended. And they can go in and out as they please and they've got a runway for daytime. Uh, for when they're, uh, if the place is closed. But anyway, they've got a runway for uh, fresh air. They've got a hole to get through into the main house. And then they've got a roost to hop up on. And that's where they're gonna spend their nights. And then I'm gonna put bedding down in here and a couple divider walls for nesting boxes and be able to gather some eggs out of here. This is because I had a nice uh, basis to begin with. This is probably one of my best structures ever. So uh, keep it off the ground, it should last. And I'll get some oil based paint and paint that whole thing to preserve it. And it should be good to go for years to come. So I'm just going to put those couple screws in there for now. And. Uh, Pretty much that'll be it. I've got a couple screws missing that I've got to put in the main stru structure and I'll finish that and we're looking good. Well that's it for now. I put one box in. I want to let, ha let the birds have room to come in and hop up. So I put one nesting box in and that gives them room to move around and then the birds can roost up here. So I think they're going to be happy. I'm going to fill it with bedding, knock that staple out out of there, and uh, bring in the birds. Ha <laughs> ha 
We got two little girls over there. We gotta go. Well, there it is, everybody. They're safe and sound. So uh, I had to get them some food and water, but they've got egg laying place. They've got shelter. They've got fresh air, and I'll be expanding that soon.